Hi, my name is Alex Haynes. I'm with the Fiercely Independent Network, and we're here at the Upstate Films Theater for the screening of Harula Rose's Once Upon a River. The underlying philosophy of the film, I feel, is about compassion and this live and let live thing and finding your family. Maybe they're not the people you're born into. Maybe it's finding a sense where you belong. So I really started to feel like the ending is a beginning. I fell in love with the character in the book um, because she's so complicated and strong and quiet and all of these qualities that I think we usually attribute to a man, to a boy. And I like that she genuinely is all of those things, but very feminine at the same time. And I love the journey she goes on. And I love what the film's message is, that it's about our what we all have in common, no matter what age or race or creed you are. We're all human at the end of the day, and I think if we focus on that, then we'll be in better shape than we are. So um, I, I grew up in Chicago, and this area about an hour north of, of the city is just so beautiful, and I found that the Midwest, you don't necessarily see all that physical beauty being portrayed on film as much as I wish it was, so I wanted that story to be told as well, and then I realized in editing that we still had some things to do, so we shot them up here while I was editing in New York, and that was really beautiful because the people in the Hudson Valley have been so friendly, and the film office were really helpful and cool, so I'd love to make another movie here. Just saying. I th think there's some complicated things that happen between these two characters, and I think that um, we came about it in, in kind of a... A way that didn't um, demonize the character of Cal, even though he's obviously doing some questionable things and, 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 and y using his power in a questionable way. But um, we, we work together to, to sort of like not judge him. So I, th I think the result of that is, is probably uh, a lot better off. Yeah, I think it's easy to to judge Cal, um, Kobe's character, but I also think like um, there was like a moment where you can also like judge Margot for the decision of like uh, of going into that shed and and going through with it. I think um, which we kind of miss sometimes. Like uh, I I think there's room for that. But the way we came at it was like yeah, we couldn't judge um, our characters. Um, for making this decision. And I think uh, we had great conversations and we, I know we met over like dinner too. We were all like eating. Um, and I think not just meeting on set kind of helped mm -hmm. out too. And like having these genuine conversations of um, where our heads at and what we're thinking helped out and, a lot. And I'd like to say just because we didn't judge our characters doesn't mean the audience shouldn't. <laughs> yeah, good point. Yes, yeah. <laughs> Sometimes we can look at movies um, and and kind of like think like wow that like their situation is so intense and crazy. But I think if if we all like um, look back in our own lives, like we have all very similar stories a lot of the time, um, and they're just they're just not on screen at the moment. But um, I think that's that's what you have to do too is like look in into yourself and um, have empathy and compassion um, for the story that you're seeing and um, but remember that like you have pain and sadness and happiness and excitement that you can pull from um, as an artist um, and I think that's that's how you get into it that's how you can tell these stories is just having empathy but understanding that we're at the end of the day we all have you know something inside of us that can help tell that story yeah for more information, you can go to www.woodstockfilmfestival.org.